Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to my next singing video here on YouTube. <clears throat> Today I got a song here by my favorite singer of all time, male country singer anyway, <clears throat> Waylon Jennings. <clears throat> Waylon Jennings is the one artist that I always say <clears throat> I never did see in concert in my lifetime, but if I could have, it's the one that I would have wanted to see more than any other one that I didn't see. <clears throat> I saw quite a few of them, I was lucky to go to quite a few concerts when I was back in Ontario, but uh, never saw Waylon, but I wish I would have. <clears throat> but this song today is my 18th Waylon Jennings song on YouTube, <clears throat> on my My Karaoke Songs playlist under my name. <clears throat> uh, the last Waylon song I did wasn't too long ago, but a month ago. <clears throat> I did a song called Leave Them Boys Alone that also had Hank Jr. and Ernest Tubb in it. <clears throat> Uh, that one there was video number 199 in my <laughs> playlist. This one today is number 213, so it's been 14 videos since the last one. <clears throat> By Waylon. <clears throat> it won't be long before I do another one, though, because uh, there is one on this CD that I'm working through right now that I haven't done yet <clears throat> on YouTube, so I'll be, I'll be doing that <laughs> in a few more videos later on. <clears throat> but today's song is called Come With Me. <clears throat> And it was written by a guy named Chuck Howard, who I didn't really know anything about before today. Had never heard of him before. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> he's not exactly an unknown. He was born Edward Charles Howard in Flat Fork, Kentucky, on April, October the 3rd, 1937. So he was almost four months younger than Waylon. <clears throat> uh, he was also a country singer and guitarist. He died young, only 45 years old, on August the 15th, 1983. Uh, Howard had 13 songs recorded that he either wrote or co-wrote, including Come With Me, <clears throat> between 1958 and 1983. Other than Come With Me, his next most famous song that he composed was probably I'm Always on a Mountain When I Fall by Merle Haggard, that Merle uh, put out in uh, February 24th of 1977. Uh, Waylon Jennings made the original recording of Come With Me, in January of 1979, at American Studios in Nashville, the recording was produced by Richie Albright, the drummer in the Whalers, Jennings' backing band. It was released as a single in August of 1979 on the RCA label with the B-side Meskin. I think that's what it's pronounced anyway. It's M-E-S apostrophe K-I-N. Can't say I've ever heard that song before, but... <laughs> uh, Come With Me was released with the artist billed simply as Waylon. I guess by then he was famous enough that he only had to go by one name, like Dolly or Elvis or stuff like that. <clears throat> the single entered the uh, U.S. Billboard Hot Country Songs Top 40 on September the 22nd, 1979. Happened to be my mom's birthday. <laughs> she would have been 36 that day. <laughs> and uh, the song charted for 12 weeks, peaking at number one for two weeks, which surprised me. <clears throat> I always thought, come with me. It was a top five hit, but I never realized that it went all the way to number one. And not only that, but it was for two weeks, from November the 17th to December the 1st. <clears throat> it was Jennings' 54th top 40 hit, and his eighth number one as a solo artist. <clears throat> it also reached number one on the Canadian RPM Country Tracks chart, proving once again that Canadians, us Canadians, we know good songs when we hear them. <laughs> it was the first single in track eight on Jennings' October 1979 RCA Victor album, what goes around comes around. That was a favorite saying of my grade six teacher, Mr. Gamage. What goes around comes around. <laughs> On the year end charts for 1980, because it was released late in 79, I guess, the single ranked number 27 on the U.S. Billboard Hot Country Songs chart for that year. <clears throat> Only two English cover versions of this song had been released one by Tammy Wynette, American country singer, legend. <laughs> on June the 6th, 1980, on her epic album, Only Lonely Sometimes, and by Nana Muscuri, a Greek singer, <clears throat> and also in 1980 on her Grand Records album called Come With Me. <clears throat> Grand Records was a Canadian label, <clears throat> which I found out today. Never heard of it either. <clears throat> a little bit about Waylon Jennings for you guys who didn't see my other Waylon videos before. <clears throat> Waylon Jennings was born Wayland Arnold Jennings, on June 15, 1937, in Littlefield, Texas. <clears throat> he was also known as Haas, Chief, Watasha, and Waymore. 
He performed in the country, outlaw country, and progressive country genres. Come With Me would probably be classified in the, just a straight country song. <laughs> sort of a slow ballad type song. <laughs> Waylon was also a songwriter, a musician, a producer, and an actor. <laughs> he played a black and white, leather covered Stratocaster guitar. Famous guitar that he always played. <laughs> he was active in the music business from 1949 to 2002. And he was married four times, and he had six children. First wife was Maxine Lawrence, who was uh, married to Waylon from 1955 to 1962 when they got divorced. <clears throat> he had four children with her, two sons and two daughters, uh, Terry Vance, Julie Ray, who uh, Waylon used her name in, in one of his songs, uh, <clears throat> the, last <clears throat> the Last One to Leave Seattle, that's it, <laughs> where he... he uh, he named his wife in that song, Julie Ray, not his daughter, but his daughter's uh, name was Julie Ray. <clears throat> also, he had a son named Buddy Dean with uh, Maxine Lawrence and a daughter named Dina Carroll. His second wife was Lynn Jones from 1962 to 1967 when they got divorced. They adopted a daughter named Tommy Lynn. And his third wife was named Barbara Elizabeth Rood. He was married to her from 1967 to 1968 when they got divorced. And they had no children. <clears throat> he married uh, his fourth wife, country singer Jessie Coulter, famous for I'm Not Lisa, in 1969. And they were married uh, until Waylon's death <clears throat> in 2002. Uh, Coulter had a daughter, Jennifer, from her previous marriage to guitarist Dwayne Eddy. Waylon and Jessie had a son, Waylon Albright, named after his drummer, <laughs> I guess, Richie Albright, <clears throat> also nicknamed Shooter. Shooter Jennings, a musician and record producer. Waylon's brother, Tommy, was a country musician, and he played guitar in the Whalers band in the mid to late 60s. Uh, 332 solo records and 110 records with other artists, for a total of 442, were released on Jennings between 1959 and 2014. And 28 records were released on him where he was billed simply as Waylon, as he was on Come With Me between 1978 and 1983. His discography includes 45 studio albums, 5 live albums, 28 compilation albums, 16 collaborations, 16 music videos, 98 singles, and 11 charted b-sides. 16 of his singles went to number 1 in the US, and 32 reached the top if you include the rest of the world. Uh, Jennings died on February the 13th, 2002, age 64 from complications of diabetes. He was survived by his wife, Jesse Coulter. On Come With Me, this is my little tribute to uh, uh, WSM DJ Eddie Stubbs, <laughs> where he liked to name off the uh, musicians on the records you know, on his uh, show. <clears throat> so on Come With Me, you're going to hear ben Barney Robertson kicking it off on keyboards, <clears throat> piano, Richie Albright on drums, and Carter Robertson on background vocals. <clears throat> so now, join me. <laughs> Come with me as I sing, come with me. How about that? Here we go. It's uh, track number uh, three off of this CD here that I've been working on for a little bit now. <clears throat> so uh, here we go with Come With Me. <clears throat> I'm going to have to use the YouTube video for this one because there's no karaoke version, so... Here we go, plug in the charger, make sure it doesn't black out on me while I'm doing this. <laughs> and here we go, some whaling Johnnies. Here we go. <laughs> if you're in a valley, with a troubled mind I'm a mountain Come on and climb Cause you look so good To be so down It don't take much good To turn it all around Come with me me, the feeling's free, just 
just come with me. Get on a cloud, day. Ride it high. Say hello, son. As we sail by. I'll take you where you've never been before. Once we're there, you'll cry for more. If it's dark in your world, come walking by. My love's alive, babe. It's on all the time. Come with me, come with me, the feeling's free, just come with me, get on a cloud girl, and ride it high, say hello son, as we sail by. Won't you come with me? Come with me. The feeling's free. Just come with me. We'll get on a cloud, babe. Ride it high. Say hello, son. As we sail by. Yeah, it's called Come With Me, a song by Waylon Jennings from 1979. <laughs> Happened to be the first year of my favorite TV show of all time when I was a kid. Dukes of Hazard, <coughs> featuring Waylon Jennings as the balladeer. Well, <coughs> that's going to be all for today. <coughs> Hope you all enjoyed that Come With Me. <coughs> and, uh, well, I'm going to be back on Monday, two days from now, day after tomorrow. <coughs> Uh, I have a song by someone I haven't done a song yet by on YouTube yet, which is uh, Porter Wagner. <laughs> it's a great old song called I'll Go Down Swinging. You're going to love that one, I'm sure. So uh, <clears throat> join me then. Have a good day for now. <clears throat> Bye now.